morning guys, it's day two here in Florence. Um, we're now making our way down for breakfast and then we're just gonna see what's happening around Florence and just have a little one. We've just come down for breakfast and this is the amazing food that we've got. Some lovely toast with cheese and ham and coffee. And you've got the same. It's just come out with some tomatoes, so I decided to add them on as well. They also have this amazing fruit. So I've got, is that like a nectarine or something? Pineapple, melon, strawberries. And what you got? Kiwi, melon. Is that a nectarine as well? I don't know. Could be. Might be, yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't know fruit. Look at me. just found this really amazing building and look at the architecture in here. Look at this. It's just amazing. Okay, so Lua seems to think it's uh, Piazza Medici. Something, something Medici. Yeah, um, but it's really nice. So we're in like the marketplace at the moment and we've found um, this lovely church. So I've got no money. No, no, no money. Non all saladi. No money change, please. Non all saladi. No, no money. No, no, no change. They don't listen. This is the place I killed someone on in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> So we just come to the market and we found the Basilica of St. Mary of Flower. Um, Florence is basically called the City of the Flowers, so it kind of makes sense. And look at this place. Look at that. So we're now going to go inside and see what's, um, what's going on. Yeah, boy! Wow, check this out. This is pretty nice, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. Check out this artist, um, he's pretty good at drawing this statue of a horse, it looks pretty decent.
vem, ô pai, eu tô... Ah. We're now gonna go for some dinner because it's like, what's it, eight o'clock, nine o'clock? Nine. Or later. Ripping that PTX. Do That's not a pen We just finished our meal. Um, I had a. Oh, yeah, that does, doesn't it? I had a ham, cheese, mushroom pizza. That was really nice. Um, what did you have? Salami Toscano. You heard it there? Um, and then I, at the end, a bit of an embarrassing moment, I decided to say we, oui, which is French French for yes. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but that happens. I and can't that was remember good. the word for yes in Italian. Si. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> si. Si. Yeah, the meal was uh, delicioso. So we're just having a wander around now and seeing what we can see. Nightlife is about, what, 10 p.m.? Just gone. Um, 9 p.m. in UK time, obviously. And I don't know why I keep talking with a weird accent. Yeah, you keep talking like you're Monty Python or something. <laughs> I will not play this record in this scratch. <laughs> My hovercraft is full of ears. <laughs> For a vehicle that's been tricked out to look like an ice cream tree, you know, with colourful pictures of ice cream trees. That's fun for the young children. Uh. Look at this sweet ass motherfucker. Oh. All right. What's up, guys? Um, today we're here with Lewis. Watashiwa. Kendo, that, that's not even Japanese, huh? well it is sort of. Not. And today we're going to be trying some Italian candy because why not, we're in Italy and uh, yeah, let's see what we've got. First one up, we've got Mitch Skogorigal, it looks like some uh, bootleg Kinder bars. Kinder, goodness. Alright, so it looks similar to one of the Kinder bars. They don't smell the same. It's more like dark chocolate. They look the same inside. Alright, uh, that's inside. The camera they smell more coffee like. Are they coffee? I don't know, I can't speak Italian. Well, I can't read that, mate. Alright, three, two, one. That's not too bad. That is a bit like the Kinder ones. That tastes exactly like Kinder. Next we've got um, Lint, Hello My Name Is Cookies and Cream. We don't have them in the UK, so that should be interesting. Nice to sweet you. Aww, that sounds adorable. Oh, it smells like Oreo. Mmm, that's us actually. It smells like a... Although the chocolate... Like the inside is like an Oreo. Although it's like milk chocolate, it smells like dark chocolate, but like a dark chocolate Oreo. I don't know if they do then. I might do them in like a I don't think so. Alright, three, two, one. Mmm. That's nice that is. That's like um like an Oreo Malteser. Oh yeah. Oh. Mmm. It tastes like an Oreo milkshake. Just yeah, like a crush em if anyone's ever been to KFC. An Oreo crush em. Mm. Mixed with a Malteser one. Hello, Kyle. Excuse me. Looking for a milkshake that's been tricked out to look like an Oreo truck. Now we've got some coffee sticks. Chocolate flavoured. <gasps> Café au lait. <laughs> Café au lait. <gasps> oh, they look a bit like um, oh, ma ma match matchmakers, matchmakers, if anyone's ever had them. Quality Street ones. Quality Don't know if it's showing up on there. Yeah. Don't know the Quality Street. <laughs> Oh, they smell really, really coffee. Like oh, coffee. they do. Oh, no. 
Do you remember them? Um, like the after eights, but the coffee ones. They smell exactly them. like them. Actually, smells like. It smells like, like a proper brewed coffee. Like a cigar. This smells like freshly ground coffee that's been like, you know, coffee bean that's been freshly ground and then made into coffee. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Mmm, they're really nice. The, the milk chocolate's creamy, but it's also got that like after eight taste as well. Just not mini. No. It tastes like someone's just like, just like held me down and poured coffee in my mouth. <laughs> Next we've got a L Loca Tortina original. And um, so it looks like them chocolate coat biscuits you get in them, um, like the selection boxes at Christmas. Yeah, it looks looks like Reese's cup in a way, but thinner. And that's melted a bit. I have the melt a bit. <laughs> so it's got like a wafer inside. Don't know if it'll be like Kit Kat. Hmm. Huh? It's like a Kit Kat. Mm. Sort of like the wafer is really mm. thin and melts in your mouth. It tastes like blue ribbon. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. But it's much more soft. That's what she said. <laughs> and it, it does have that sort of um, Kit Kat taste to it. Mmm. Next one is a triple attack spray. Um, I think it's like sour sprays or something. You got. It's got an age rating on the back. Eight plus. Oh yeah, age rating of eight plus. So yeah, it must be some pretty nasty stuff. You got sour strawberry, raspberry, and apple flavour. What one you want? Surprise me. Surprise, motherfucker. French surprise, motherfucker. Okay. Okay. I don't think you can take them out. Oh. I think they're basically sealed in there. Hang oh. On. Let me just take the wrap off. Yeah. Yeah. Right, it's just like see-through, but you got uh, blue raspberry, strawberry, and apple. <clears throat> yeah, that's not bad, the blue raspberry. Strawberry's good. I don't like apple and stuff. It. Nah, that ruined it. <laughs> oh! Is that raspberry? That one. Blue raspberry. Blue raspberry. Huh? That smells like it. Come in. No way. <laughs> <laughs> what a chin! <laughs> that one's nice. <laughs> Blinking every time. Oh, that one's sour. You're right there. Dripping out my mouth. <laughs> Gay! I can't aim. No, that, that that's not nice. No, I don't like that. So we've got some roll break fragola flavour, which is uh, strawberry for all you English people out there, or American. They they kind of look like them. Um, the, the moist cream thins that you have. You know what I'm on about. And like ice cream straws, I can't remember what they're, they're called, but they're like ice cream the wafers. waffle wafer the, the things. The wafer straw things. Yeah. Like the ones with the chocolate inside. Yeah, but instead it's got strawberry and it's, ice cream. And it's full. Well, the same ice cream, but... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is actually cannoli de wafer. Rolled wafer filled with strawberry flavoured cream. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh. I've got the golden ticket from Willy Wonka. Uh, I've got a golden ticket. Oh, that's smaller than I expected. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty small, but... Oh, they smell really nice. They're like them ice cream wafer thins. Oh, yeah. They sort of smell like McDonald's strawberry milkshake. Oh, no, I had it. Lost now. Mmm. Mmm. They taste like them um, Milky Way wafer thins. You ever had them? It's like this basically, but with like a creamy filling. 
and it's got oh. chocolate comb. Mm. Oh, they're really nice. Mmm. Mmm. Like the strawberry inside, that's sort of like, um, oh, how do I describe it? It's sort of like a, a creamy sort of texture, isn't it? Mm. It's like thick cream, like you'd get on like a like a freshly baked like bun. You like put like a strawberry icing, icing type thing. Yeah, that's it. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, or frost them for those American people. So we got this back in the UK, and I have it quite a lot. It's um, San Pellegrino Laurenciante. It's basically like fizzy orange juice. I wonder if it'll taste the same, or if it'll be more, more better because it's from Italy. I don't know. Mmm, that smells nice. Thank you. It looks like... There we go. Well, it looks like fizzy orange, really. It smells different to the one in the UK. It smells more orangey, actually. Yeah, that's all right. It's not as fizzy as it... It doesn't taste as fizzy as it looks, but it's really nice. It's not as fizzy as the one that we have back at home. Mm. Could use a bit of lemonade in it, actually. Next is San Pellegrino Chino. Um, I don't know if we're going to get like a small Italian guy with some trousers selling it to us, but you know. Chino de Campo. Oh, that smells weird. Oh wow! No! Oh, I can't think, that smells like something and I can't oh. think what. <coughs> <coughs> don't die on me. Smells I like can't think what that, sm what that sort of smells like. Like cola bottles. Yeah, that's it. But the cheap ones? Yeah. Not like the ones you'd get in pick mix. Like the cheap ones you'd get in a bag for like 20p. <laughs> or at least back in the day anyway. Oh, it looks like Coke. Okay, that's weird. So it's got a picture of an orange on the front. All right. But it's actually Coke inside. <laughs> How does that work? Cheers. Yeah, it does. It does smell like cola balls. Or um, them ice pops. Yeah. You know what I'm on about, Mr. Mr. Freeze or whatever they are. Yeah, Mr. Freeze. Salut. Cheers. <laughs> oh God, what the f is that? Oh, it's got a horrible aftertaste. Oh. Oh no, that's horrible. No, 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 no. Who and what and where? Like who, what, 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 where? Nah, no, what, who, who, where? Like where, where, where? How do we get right there? Like, no, no, no. I thought that was just going to be orange juice. That's revolting. That's how I, um, that's how I imagine a sweaty feet to taste, actually. And we've got sack, sack, grape. Sack, sack, grape. Oh. Oh, that smells really nice. It smells more like sour ap apple tizer. I don't know, I've never had that. Smells like the, the grape one, actually. Is it the same colour? Oh, it's no. We got some white wine up in here. White wine? Oh, what is that? Was that like a grape skin? No, probably. That's all, thank you. <laughs> I don't want any, I don't want any skins in mine. <laughs> <laughs> the camera just died. Changed the battery, we're back. Uh, we've got the grape juice. Which has now started to form a skin on the top, which is making me feel nauseous. I thought you liked skin. That tastes actually really nice. But I don't want to drink any more because there's like a giant skin in the cup. I'm trying to put a finger on what, what it tastes like. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hold on. Look! There's a goo! It's like a baby jellyfish. It's just sat in. Oh, I'm not drinking the rest of that, mate. No, no way now. 
I give it, I give it four out of ten. It'd be drinkable, but it's got a skin in, and I find that revolting. So I think out of those, the orange drink obviously won. Yes. Mm. So we've got Ferrero Tronchi. It's like a donkey, but with three legs. So something about a wafer, ripples, cream, granola. Granola. I think it's like like one of those galaxy ripples. All I keep saying is, seeing is latte, but I think that means milk. Do you open it with this little green tab here? Yeah. Oh. It's like a chocolate wafer. Sort of looks like bueno. Yeah, kind of, yeah. But just without like chocolate on the outside. So that's what it looks like inside. It's got like a chocolatey, creamy center. Oh, I smell, the, the chocolate inside smells sort of like um, Nutella, but like- A little bit. Like the cheap, like Tesco version or something. Or Aldi, I'm not sure which one it's from. Or probably both, they're the same. Yeah, it's not bad. You can have a lot. Oh, cheers. That's really nice. Only cost me 40 cents. Pick up. Put down. They seem to not be able to print correctly though. The barcodes wrapped right round. Looky looky. Melon. I love melon. Especially that one we had at school. So I don't know what to compare this to. <clears throat> it's it's kind of looks like a uh, s'more but without the marshmallow. It's got like layer of thick chocolate in between two biscuits. I reckon if you melt this with marshmallows, this would be good. Mm -hmm. Probably. That smells nice. Mmm. Couldn't bite into it. Yeah, it's thick chocolate. That's sort of like a bonbon. But the chocolate's harder. Mmm. I don't know. The biscuit on the outside is sort of normal. I've had something like this before. Mmm, so have I. I don't know what. The next is Cor di Fragola Biscotti. It's like a, I don't know really. Like jammy sponge. Oh, that looks cool. It's like a jammy dodger, but like it looks like a flower. They're cool. Oh, mine's lost the jam. It's like. <laughs> J jammy dodger, but in a uh, flower shape. Smells like a jammy dodger, but just like... Smells like... Like they've put just put jam on there. It's strawberry jam. Mm. It's good jam. It's jammy. It's my jam. That's my jam. Mmm. Mmm. It's more like cake. Mmm. Oh, it's like, um... Them jam tarts. Mmm, the biscuit is really nice and soft, yet flaky. We like David Attenborough, but flaky. <laughs> now we see the wild new Kemp in his habitat. He seems to be pulling down his jeans <laughs> and whacking one off. We've got a bootleg Kinder Egg, even though we're in Italy and they make Kinder Eggs, but you know, they decided to make a bootleg one. It's got Hot Wheels. Also so. not sponsored. <laughs> So I'm hoping there's a car in it. That smells like um, cheap brand, like chocolate. It smells like the stuff you get at Christmas time. Yeah, it's sort of like the stuff they put in like those, um, sort of like the, the calendars, oh thank you. Um, oh yeah. yeah. So we've got a little toy inside, little oh, car. Oh, it's in a different, because usually, like the ones at home, they've got those yellow sort of like bits inside, as if it was a yolk. Yeah, did you, did you know that the reason why it's yellow inside a Kinder Egg is because it's meant to look like a yeah, an egg yolk. Yeah, that is That's cheap nice. chocolate. It tastes like advent calendar chocolate. It really does. Or well, did you used to have, when, when you were younger, there's like a selection box, like Bob the Builder or something with like mm. little characters. So I've got the toy here. Which doesn't seem to want to open. Oh, okay. That's a bit of a disappointment. It's not in the car. So it's not even a Hot Wheels car, it's just like a little skateboard. With um, Hot Wheels racing written on it. 
there's uh, ten models to collect. It's like that, um, that Lamborghini. It's like that, um, those things that you used to get, what are they called? Tech decks? Oh, but yeah. like smaller and probably not as... It's like Lego tech deck. Yeah. Dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Save us from the candy god. Candy god? <laughs> Take me to the candy god. <laughs> ba -ba -da -ba. Hmm. Sings that. Is that... I don't know, who sings candy shop? <clears throat> Christina Aguilera. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <Apple> fritz. <laughs> Charms, or in other words, chewets. But from Italy. Gusto Arancia sure means not, orange. You sure it's not like gusto? Like in whatever other language that is. Thank you. They're even wrapped poorly, like chewets. Yeah, they're bootleg chewets. Oh, no. Oh, but unlike Chewits, where they're like oh, okay. soft squares, they're this weird hard shaped candy with like a hole in it. You can't really chew them, can you? Because they're really, they're hard. Can you chew it? No. Oh, oh, I've heard mm. something like this before. They're like those um, hard sweets you get from like um, 2P, sort of like machines in the, the arcade. But it's really hard, it's not soft like a chewer. It's nice and orangey as well. Or if you're American, orange. Oh, <laughs> wait in my eye! <laughs> That's what she said! <laughs> <laughs> I was aiming for your mouth. <laughs> Gay! Go with my arm and then my eye. A little, a little tiny bit just went in my eye. Up in your mouth. I want all three at once. You dribbling? Let's bet together. So these are croquantella. They're like mini pizza breads or something. Mmm. Mmm. Let's try one then. Oh, I've got a handful. Alright. Oh, they taste like pizza. Oh, no, no. What do they s Oh, they smell like, um... They smell like... Like that tomato paste from them, um, Lunchables. Yeah. When no. they used to make pizza. Do you know what they used? They smell like... You... Remember they used to do, like, actual Scooby snacks? I don't know, I never had them. Oh, that's what they smell like. <laughs> Ruby Rule? <laughs> I can't do it. Ruby Rule? No, I can't do it. Harder than I expected. They don't taste like pizza though. No. They're nice though. It says Gusto Pizza. That's a lie. It's not with pizza. <laughs> chips. Chips were, you know what, they were right. Like. Loki, Loki. So that just about wraps up the candy video. Um, yeah. We're going to be doing one in Barcelona when we go in like six days time. No, actually not six days time. We come back to the UK in six days time. Be like eight days time, maybe nine. Depends if, if we want to do it on the first day or not. Yeah. Probably not.